Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie and this is All Things Natalie. Today I'm sharing the perfumes I wore last week and some layering combinations. So before we get started, if you're new here, hi. I hope you like this video and subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for being here. Now let's get started. The first perfume I have to mention is one I wore for bed, and this is R.E.M. by Ariana Grande. This is a lavender salted caramel scent. It has some fig in it, I believe, and salt and caramel. Obviously, I just said that. And speaking of salt and caramel, I added it with Chirosa 62 from Sol de Janeiro, or Janeiro, however you pronounce that. And this makes it really delicious and really brings out the caramel. So I did wear that to bed and that was my first layering combo. The next scent I wore was during the day and I wore Couture Couture by Juicy Couture. This is like a plummy scent. It smells like grape juice to me and the deep deep dry down is just really nice like vanilla and your skin. It's very beautiful. However, it is like kind of grape juicy and at first I did not like this because it's got like that powdery orange blossom and it's also very grapey, but sometimes I'm in the mood for that. The next scent I wore is Beyonce Midnight Heat. This is I think of violet when I smell this. I mean, I'm probably influenced by the purple bottle, but it actually doesn't have violet. It is a powdery scent to me though. Fruity, powdery, and like ampery patchouli. It has dragon fruit, star fruit, plum, two plum fragrances already. And then it has peony, and it does remind me of Angel Eau de Toilette, which has peony and like that patchouli amber, although that's not even what it looks like, but yeah, it does remind me of the similar DNA of this one because of that peony and the fruity peony combi combination, but yeah, this one is like kind of sexy, kind of like I don't know, like a maternal sexy. I don't know why I think that, but it is like grown up. I think it smells grown up. The next scent I wore is super different. This one is a beachy, more sunscreen scent, and this is Terracotta by Guerlain. This one I was decanting because I'm taking a vacation soon, and then I got a little on my hand and then I just had to wear it because it is so beautiful with creamy vanilla and coconut. It is just so gorgeous and I know it's a limited edition but I think you can still find it. Next scent I wore is a rosy scent and this is Rose Rouge by Van Cleef and Arpels. This has rose, raspberry, black currant, and I believe it has white chocolate, but I don't really pick up on that. It's mostly just a fruity rose kind of liqueur, liqueur scent. It's not my favorite, but when I feel like wearing rose, I, you know, I gotta wear a couple different rose scents. So I do have a couple different rose scents in this week's roundup. The next scent I have is Noir Extreme by Tom Ford. This is technically for men or marketed towards men and it is quite spicy. It used to be a little more creamy smelling to my nose but now I find it more spicy. So to tone down the spiciness I layered it with Tangier Vanille from Aaron. I have a dedicated video just for the scent. And it does tone down the spiciness of Noir Extreme. I'm holding that upside down. Um, yeah, so it makes it more <clears throat> vanillic and very nice. The next scent I wore 
is Cloud by Ariana Grande. This one is the sugary, creamy, coconutty, praline, lavender scent. I got a compliment when I wore this, so I had just sprayed on like three sprays and yeah, I got a compliment. So it is a compliment magnet. And the last scent I wore, or oh wait, I wore a bunch of samples. I forgot about these. I wore Santel Blush by Tom Ford. This one is just that sandalwood scent. It's kind of violet-y to me. It's an interesting sandalwood. I do like it, but it reminds me of Adam Levine for her, which is like $15 versus $350, so that's an easy choice to make. And the second sample I wore of these small ones is Feb Delicias by Dior. This is Cherry Lavender. This one is very like Tonka Bean baby wipes to me, like baby powder. I don't really get cherry or lavender or any of those kinds of notes, which is a little disappointing because I did want like a lavender kind of aromatic gourmand. But unfortunately, this is all like Tonka Bean Baby Wipes, so yeah, that was a little unfortunate. And then I wore this layering combination. Well, actually I wore Just Modest De by Afnan, and then I wore it with Devil's Food by Demeter because I believe Modest De has chocolate in it, and it's like fruity, woody, a little spicy, and it has like a chocolatey dry down. It's not like super in your face. I find it to stay pretty close to the skin, and so I decided to layer it with Devil's Food, and that helped increase the longevity by like two hours, so it lasts like six hours on me. Which is a little unfortunate, but whatever. It's a beautiful scent nonetheless. It's got like cherry, strawberry, chocolate, rose, that sort of profile. Then I wore Love Fest Burning Cherry. Can't really tell from this label. But yeah, this is Smoky Cherry. It has that same kind of cherry that's in Lost Cherry. Like they kind of medicinal cherry vibe and then it's got this beautiful woodiness. Sometimes it goes a little synthetic to me but I really enjoy how the woodiness is. I'm not a super big fan of woody scents so it's kind of shocking for me. And another sort of woody scent is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This is, this has like Bulgarian rose, Centifolia rose, or May rose, and another kind of rose. It has royal lily, and I'm pretty sure it has that Kayali vanilla patchouli combo because it does have that DNA. This is such a beautiful rose scent, and I'm like half done with the sample. I definitely want a bottle of this because they are so freaking gorgeous. Like that reflective, bright pink so beautiful but yeah this is like just an amazing rose scent and it is quite sweet and very rosy so that was my roundup for this week this video was pretty long i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to see you in the next one bye